hello everyone welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how i'm i make my ginger juice um it's really good for you know sore throat for cold symptoms you know with the coronavirus around this is very helpful this is what we use in liberia all right so this is how you start with your ginger i got this from the local african store and you can add some lime or lemon if you like um to your taste and that sugar i prefer the brown sugar um, so I have the honey just in case you don't do sugar um, as well as the grater if you don't have a blender you can use that but it takes time and I have my blender of course it's faster that's exactly what I use okay so now what I'm going to do is just pour some water on the ginger I soak it in the water because sometimes it's dry so why soak and it's easy to come up and of course you have to wash it so that's what I'm doing washing it real good clean and nice and I grab the um, I'm using the bread knife instead of the regular sharp knife so I grab the bread knife which is easy to strip off the uh, covers that's exactly what I'm doing so just watch Now I've stripped up everything. I've given it the first wash. This is how it looks like. You can tell it has those little tiny ones on there. So I'm putting it right back in the water and just try and strip out some of the leftovers that's there. It's not going to be really perfect, but you know, most of them, if like 95% can come out, that will be fine. Makes my work easy. Okay. At this point, I'm, I grab the chopping bowl and I'm just cleaning it. Um, I'm going to chop everything off one piece at a time. You know, it's crazy that the ginger here in the U.S. are pretty fat, which is easy to work with. <laughs> Unlike the gingers in Liberia, they're really tight, tiny, like more concentrated. So I kind of like, you know, that this is what, easy to you know use compared to the one we have home <laughs> okay so what i'm doing i'm just chopping them um into chunks and then just drop them into the blender to make it easy to blend depending on your blender your blender might be very powerful so you may not need to chop it um mine is not that so i like to chop it okay At this point, I'm pouring some hot water or warm hot water, preferably. That's why I use because I'm not boiling it. Um, even though, like, you know, 
it's like for what you can use a lukewarm water but I use hot water and I'm just blending it um, first I will touch the chop um, option on the button and then I touch the smoothie button so that it can like blend you see I'm like turning them upside down to make sure everything is well blended um, yeah, that's it So at this point is well blended. I'm about to take this and like pour it over to the sifter. Um, I've already done the first round. That's why you see the residue in there. Okay, so um, I just shake it up and because it still has fluid in it, I try to like, you know, push it down with the spoon. Um, usually um, we'll use our hands, right? You know, I bear, but it kind of, yeah, and because uh, I felt like it still had a little more juice, I put it back in and blend it in once again by hitting the smoothie button. And there I go, sifting it again um, to take out all the last juice. It's a no, no waste thing, right? <laughs> okay, I told you we'd use our hands. Yes, that's the proper way. My hands are very clean, so if you're disturbed by that, I just want you to know my hands are purely clean. And I was making it for myself. <laughs> So now after squeezing them all down, now I pour in the sugar. Like I say, I prefer the brown sugar. And you know, notice it's going to give that change of color. And that's the color I'm used to in Liberia when we buy the ginger beer. So I like the brown sugar. Then I put a little bit of honey in it. If you're not into using sugar, you can totally go with honey. But just make sure it's well blended. And yes, I'm blending. So stay safe. This is so, so refreshing. You can drink it as tea early in the morning and warm it and pour your lime on it. And you can use it at your everyday juice you know sometimes you can use a chill and pull some ice cube so enjoy thanks for watching